You are listening to The Bad Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is The Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. A lot of guys are looking for shortcuts with the game. And in any facet of the game there is no shortcut so for example if a motherfucker wants to lose weight and get fit there ain't no shortcuts for that you feel what i'm saying if a motherfucker wants to get rich there ain't no shortcuts for that now what happens is it seems like there's shortcuts but what happens is is that the shortcuts that you think are shortcuts aren't really shortcuts they're just another side of the thing that's not really what you think it is so for example a person you know like they want to get a lot of money, but instead of working to make it happen, they'll fucking rob a bank or rob niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Or do some illegal shit. So mm-hmm. then they get the money, they get it quick, but then there's a consequence to that. The balance is, is that if they get caught or when they get caught, they got to go to jail for years and then shit like that pops off, right? Even when, let's say, for example, a person wants to lose weight, some people might like to do shit like, get liposuction and all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? But what happens is, is that when motherfuckers do that type of shit, a lot of times they still might have health issues because they're not actually working on their body. You feel what I'm saying? And then because they don't have that energy to work on their body, they might end up continuing to do shit to gain more weight or do whatever the fuck it is. Cause they don't have the discipline that they needed to actually fucking lose the weight. You feel what I'm right. saying? And when it comes to the dating game, Niggas that think, oh, I'm going to just trick and, and pay chicks for sex. What happens is, yeah, they can get a chick that will have sex with them here and there. But what happens is the sex isn't really from a woman who desires them. And they still don't have the skill or know-how to get or keep a woman that they actually are interested in and that they actually like. You see what I'm saying? So in, in all these examples, <coughs> excuse me, in all these examples, what happens is, is that there isn't really a shortcut to get to the real to to the real situation they want to be in you understand what i'm saying like in order to get to that real situation where you want real success and actual real results it has to take work so just like if a motherfucker want to really make some money they got to work hard to be either some entrepreneur or work hard at a certain type of job that's going to pay them a certain amount of money. If they want to actually lose weight and be fit, they got to work hard in the gym and work hard at eating right. If niggas want to actually get women who desire them, they got to work hard on themselves to be that attractive guy. So there's no shortcut to get to those levels instead of going through what they have to go through to actually get to that level. You see what I'm saying? But, but miles, what's your thoughts on that shit? Well, my thing is, is that the reason why there's no shortcut in the game is that it's just like saying there's no shortcuts in life. Right. You understand? And and the reason why that is, is because the stages that you're trying to get to. And this is what a lot of people try to overlook. A lot of people try to see, you know, like sidestep this point. But what you have to understand is that. This, the things that you're trying to as- achieve and the stages that you're trying to get to, you have to understand that it all goes back to your identity. Right. You understand? The reason why you can't get women to like you is because you don't have the identity of a man that women like. Mm, facts. <laughs> That's real shit. You know, this is, and this is why I created the masculine identity membership, because it's about an identity. It's about who you are. Like the reason why you're broke is because you're you're you don't have the identity of a man that knows how to manage a lot of money. Exactly. You understand the reason why you 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 dress like shit is because you don't have the identity of a man that has style. Yo, like I watch this. Um, you know, I love this. I ain't going front, man. I like this whole um, this this kind of new. um culture or mm. practice of reels and shorts right because a lot like on the low you get so much like little nuggets and game mm. with 
with these little shorts. You know, every once in a while you got a short that people, somebody put it together for a reason and mm. it gives you a really cool lesson about life and uh, right. philosophies and shit like that. But anyway, <clears throat> there was interviewing some, some fashion lady or some, you know, one of these old Versace type Liberace type people. Right. And she was talking about the difference between style and fashion. Right. Mm -hmm. So she said, Anybody can buy their way into fashion, meaning mm. that you can find out what's fashionable, meaning you can find out what's trending and right. you can just buy that and put it on and wear it. Right. And then you will be fashionable. Mm -hmm. Right. But she said she said, if you're trying to be stylish, it takes courage and it takes it, and it takes the willingness to be you. That's what she said. Mm. That's some real shit. 